Hello everyone, this is Aurelia at Aurelia's Crafting Ideas. My idea for today is to work on my Valentine decor and I hope that you will join me. For my project today, the main items that I will be using is this. Now this is one of those tabletop decors. I just happen to have an extra one left over from Halloween. So I will be using this. You will need some scrapbook paper. You will need some romantic looking stamps. And of course you'll need your block for your stamps. You will need some black ink. You will also need some string. A needle nose plier. You will also need some embellishments and I'll leave that up to you. Today I will be using uh, one of these keys. You will also need your basic supplies, of course, your scissors, your glue, your glue stick, and a pencil, if you like. The first thing we need to do is prep our little um, block here. I'm going to go ahead and remove this. That's what you need the needle nose plier for. Or you could use a flat tip screwdriver. Either will work. And then just pry that off like that. You can save that for another project if you like. And then after that, I'd like to just pull off all this paper. I don't, I don't need the stickers. I, I don't need the paper on the outside of my block. So just pull that off. If you pull back very carefully, you should be able to pull off all that paper. If not, it still comes off. You know, bits at a time, but it'll come off. So let me go ahead and do that. Now that we have the paper off, now you don't have to pull every single layer off because we will do putting paper back on. So just take off what you can. Make sure you get all the edging off though. You want to put your paper back down on the edging. You want to make sure that it does adhere to the board. Okay, I'm going to put this aside for a minute. The next step is to create our hearts. I will, I'm going to use this right here, kind of gauge the size of the heart I want on my board. I'm going to put that aside and then I'm going to grab my paper. I have a couple of options I'm thinking about and I'm going to go ahead and try both. I have this paper here. It is uh, red but it then it's shaded on there too. It's got like some dark spots on there. I also have this one here. It is red, it is striped and it is it does have a print on the front you know like uh it does say like i love you well that's the only thing i can read <laughs> it, it does say i love you like in all different languages so it, it's a really cute piece of paper what i want to do is i want to just take my heart grab a pencil and i'm just going to trace this out And then I'm going to go ahead and cut that out. And I want to do the same with this one. I'm not, I'm not sure which one I want to use yet. So I want to, I want to have the option. I want to have both of them ready. And I will decide later which one I want. Now, you don't have to be precise on this, if it, but it's up to you. <laughs> now, I have my hearts cut out. The next thing I want to do is I want to roughen up the edges. I, uh, If you have one of those rough edgers, 
you know what I'm talking about or you could use your scissors I want these to be like absolutely rough Use whatever method you can, you know, comfortable with and to get that desired effect you want. I have this one quite roughened up now. And let me test this. So my heart is still a little, it's a little large. So um, let me trim it down. <laughs> Okay, that's good right there right okay now let me start all over I need to um, make the edges all rough again I was hoping that once I started scrunching everything together that it would shrink a little bit more but this is cardstock so it may be different with this one because this one is paper so let me get this roughen up and then we'll try this one, see what happens to that one. I must decide which heart I want. I like I like the design on this one, but it is not it did not really do the grungy edging like I wanted. So I think I will save this for uh, a second project maybe I'll figure something out for it I like it though but I think I will go with this one now this is the cardstock one and I like the that rough edging next I would like to go ahead and uh, put some ink on the edge I'm going to use some I have some uh, black suit distress oxide here I'm going to go ahead and use that and just kind of darken the edges a little bit and you know, give it that extra grungy look and go around and let me be a little bit more in the center Kind of like that. See, so he's starting to look even more grungy. More grungy. Is that a word, a grungy? Okay. And then I have, I have some tea dye here. Let me see how that will work. Let's see what that does. Didn't really make a difference, did it? But okay, I can. I'll work with that. I think the more distressing you do around that you do around your heart, the better. Okay, I think that looks good. I'm going to put this aside and go back to the block. Now I want to create the background on my block. So when I create that background, I want my heart to stand out. So I need like the neutral colors. Um, maybe a bit of yellowish color so I have all the scrapbooking paper here and 
this is what you need. <laughs> this is what you need to do. Just grab a bunch of colors and coordinating colors and and when I, whatever ever I put on here, I want it to go back enough and you know cover the edging. So whatever I decide, and I can just tear that off. Let's see, I have that there. And maybe this one here. And I also have this one. That might be a little too much. I think I'll skip that one. I have I have this one here also. There and then, hmm. so it's just like you know, just create a collage is what we're doing. Uh, a little bit of color here and there. So you want to make sure whatever you put on the edge and again you want to make sure it covers the side and let's see i have this one here too so something like this okay all right, let's try this again. So, maybe if I put some yellow down here. How does that look? And then if I can, let me see, I should have some print somewhere. If I can do like a bit of print there. I have I also have this one. Maybe I can tuck some here. And then I do have my stamp so I can always uh, stamp more more texting here. Now that I have an idea of what I want, I need to glue my paper down. So I'm going to just press around my block so I know where my paper is supposed to bend over. Now, you know, you can always glue each paper down as you go. <laughs> I'm just not that creative. So, I have um, my glue stick. Here it is. I'm going to use my glue stick and just kind of work that in there. Let's see. Get that in there. 
get my paper to stay down that way oops when I pull it off I have a better idea where to you know keep my papers attached It is ready to go back on my board. Let's see, let me get that. And it's gonna go on here like that. But I'm going to go ahead and use my glue stick because there, I, there's a bit of paper still on here, so it just it won't be a problem. You know, they'll adhere together just fine. I just want to make sure I have a good coverage on here. And then I need to get the sides also. Now, to put the paper on. So I have it going this way. I'm going to make sure I got my points on my corners. If I have my corners, I'm good. There we go. Press that down. And get my papers over the edge. some vellum here and they have little hearts look at that I was thinking that I might add some of that somewhere oh, 
kind of really can't see, huh? Maybe this side. So the thing with vellum is you can't use, well, I guess you can use glue, but most of the time it will show up. You, if you have a vellum tape, you can use tape. I do have, let's see, I have some glossy accent. I don't know how well this is going to work, but I'm going to give it a try. So glossy accent is supposed to dry clear, right? I have a bit of an issue. I don't like the way this corner turned out with the vellum. I was going to see if I can peel some of this off, but it is not going to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to disguise that corner glue on my paper and I'm going to cover that vellum up. There we go. That's better. I don't. I was not happy with the the vellum, the way it turned out. I love vellum, but it's not breaking out. So okay, now that I have this corner fixed, I need to. I want to stamp it with my musical note. Okay, let me try it out again. Okay, let me see if I can pick this up and then go around the edge. Huh, well, I'm still not happy with it. <laughs> okay, I guess that's what's gonna be. I guess that's, I can, I'll just leave it like that. Let's see. Okay, yeah, my heart will cover that. I think it'll be okay. I would like to put some gesso on here, so I'm going to use a white gesso. I just want to get rid of all the sharp edges of my paper. You know, kind of give it that softening effect. And let's see how this works out. I applied some white gesso and it's pretty much dry now so I'm going to take my sanding paper here I got these from the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna see if I can take some of that back off I am now ready to add my heart so that's going to go right here and I just have my liquid adhesive and I'm going to put that on the back of my heart. OK, 
Okay, and then I'm going to put my hearts about right there. Okay, and then I'm going to put that aside and let it dry. While it is doing that, I need, I need my twine. Now, I also need my key, which is a is going to be my embellishment. Let me see which key I would like to use. There's that one. It's a bit of a gold. I think that's too big. So there's that one. There's that one. That one. I think I like I think I like this one. So we'll go with that one. Now I need some twine. So what I did is I cut about four yards of my twine and then I just fold it in, in three. So I have three strands. And I'm going to take my key and just uh, thread my twine onto the key. I'm going to see find my center point right there and just put a loose knot in there that'll hold my key like that and then I'm going to wrap the twine around my box or my block <laughs> so I'm gonna go wrap it around come back and then I'm going to tie it with a bow. Just like that. And then even out my bow just a little bit. Isn't that cute? And I just need to trim the ends. Like that. Isn't that adorable? Look at that. So cute, huh? I like it. A little closer look. That is just adorable. I like it. I'm very happy with it. Well, here is our finished product. Look at that. I think it turned out really cute. Sides. And the back. I like it. I'm just going to spread my strings out just a little bit. Uh, give it the extra cuteness it needs. Look at that. Just adorable. Maybe raise it up. You can glue your, uh, your strings down if you like. Or your twine. You can always use a ribbon also. You know, that would be your preference. I think it turned out really cute. I'm quite happy with it. Well, I hope you give this little tabletop or decor a try. You know, make one for yourself. Make one for your loved ones. Pass them around. <laughs> It'll make an excellent pre-Valentine gift. I like it. Very, very cute. Thank you for stopping by. This is Aurelia at Aurelia's Crafting Ideas, and I will see you next time.